Hi, my name is Taylor and I'm a pharmacist at the Utah Poison Control Center. Today, I'm going to show you how to administer naloxone so that you will be prepared to give it in the event of an opioid overdose. In the actual event of an opioid overdose, the first step is to call 911 so that emergency medical services are on their way while you prepare the naloxone. Now, let's discuss how to use naloxone. The intranasal naloxone kit comes with a device called a nasal atomizer that helps to deliver drug to the nose and a box like this. In the box you'll find two pieces, the syringe and a medication vial. Each box contains one pre-filled dose. First, remove all of the colored caps. There are two yellow caps on the syringe and one purple cap on the medication vial. Then twist the medication vial into the syringe until you meet resistance. Be careful not to press on the bottom of the vial while assembling, as this will cause medication to drip out of the syringe. Finally, take the nasal atomizer out of its package and twist it onto the end of the syringe until you meet resistance. The atomizer is important because it helps spray the drug into the nose. Now your dose of intranasal naloxone is ready to administer. When you give intranasal naloxone, you're going to split the dose between both nostrils. There is no way to accurately measure half a dose on the device, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Do your best and estimate, giving half of the dose in one nostril and half of the dose in the other nostril. When you administer a dose, press vigorously on the drug vial. This creates a fine mist that is easily absorbed in the sinuses. Pressing too gently will create droplets at the tips that are not well absorbed and may run out of the nose. I'm now going to demonstrate how to give a dose of intranasal naloxone. Firmly place the applicator in the nostril so that a seal forms. Vigorously push half the dose in one nostril and then finish the dose in the other nostril. Now that naloxone has been given, the person should respond within three to five minutes. If there is no response, it is safe to give a second dose in the same way. That is how you successfully administer internasal naloxone in a pre-filled syringe.